rank and percentile function in data analysis tool pack in uh, Microsoft Excel. Uh, how to navigate to data analysis tool pack first. Uh, go to the data option in uh, the ribbons over here. On the right hand side you should see the data analysis tool pack or a button. In case this is missing in your Excel copy, go to file, options, within options select add-ins, within add-ins go to manage, select Excel add-ins, go, make sure the analysis tool pack option is checked in, press OK and you should see it over here. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to pick up a generic data set which has got a few columns uh, with numbers in it and I'm going to demonstrate how to use uh, the rank and percentile function on a column or a series of columns. I'll first freeze the first row. Go to data, select data analysis tool pack. Over there in the option select rank and percentile. Now what does the rank and percentile option do? In case you want to figure out uh, which is the car which has got the highest horsepower or which is the car which has got the widest wheelbase etc. And how do you order it? Uh, you may need to rank them uh, basis any particular variable. right? One of the uh, options is you can sort the data set but uh, that would change your data set. So in case you want to generate a report on the rank and uh, what is the percentile at each different value. For example, what is the 50th percentile value of a horsepower or the 75th percentile or the 25th percentile or what rank would a 210 horsepower car would have. In that case it makes useful to, uh, it is useful to use the rank and percentile function. In the rank and percentile function we ask for the input range. In this case I'm going to select only the horsepower uh, column. I'm going to select the full column in one shot. So from H1 till H154. Since I have selected the first column which is not a value uh, but is the column name or the label, I'm going to give the option that it's labels in first row. I want the output in a new worksheet. That's all I need to do. This is a very simple uh, input uh, ranges away. Press OK. Let it calculate the rank and percentile. And here we get the rank and percentile. Right, I'll explain each of the columns. So this is the horsepower column. It's sorted in uh, descending order. The highest is uh, horsepower value 450, rank 1, percentile is 100 percentile. And the point means which particular row number does this uh, value occur at. For example, it says 450 occurs at row 37. Let's go down to row 37. And here we go. Row 37. And I see horsepower. Sorry, this is a row 37 over here. The first row is obviously the column number. So based on the Excel, it will be row 38. But it's the 37th data row. Right. So this is the point. This is the actual value. This is the rank. This is the 100 percentile. For example, if you want to look at the 75th percentile or something closest to it. Uh, so here we go. Right. Horsepower would be 215. It occurs at the 75th row. It occurs again at the 79th row. Right. And it's ranked at 37. So again, you can pick out the 50th percentile. You can pick out the uh, the 25th percentile. Now you may observe that you may not get the exact percentiles. Uh, because of uh, multiple rows having the same value in the same ranks. Now this is an example of one column at a time. Suppose I want to do multiple columns at the same time. It, uh, it's very simple. I go to data analysis again, rank and percentile. Instead of one column, I can select multiple columns. So I'm going to select horsepower and wheelbase in one shot. All the way from H1 till I154. Again, labels in first row, new sheet, press OK, and there we go. So these are the three co four columns for the horsepower, again four columns for wheelbase. Right? Now there's no guarantee that the same row would contain the same ranks. Obviously they will not. For example, row 37 is the highest ranked horsepower, whereas row 43 has the widest wheelbase and so on. Right? So you can compare the percentile and ranking values in case you want to look it up against this. It becomes very simple. I insert a column over here. I say rank horsepower. I do a simple VLOOKUP against this value. So what should be the rank for this value? VLOOKUP 140. I go over here. Search for column B. 
I want to look up the rank, which is the second row, 2. And I want the exact value, so I give the argument as false. And there, if I drag it all the way down, I have now looked up the rank for horsepower against this. Similarly, I can look up uh, the percentile. And similarly, I can do the same for any other variable that I want. So I've created a new variable which tells me against each value what it's ranked. So I know 450 horsepower is the first ranked vehicle. Whereas 110 horsepower is uh, ranked at 147 in this particular data set. Similarly, I can do it for other variables or I can look at uh, the data sheet itself. And that was all for rank and percentile in the data analysis tool pack section. Thank you.